President, this is the joint statement. We highlight the challenges facing women and women human rights defenders in Sudan. Sudanese women achieved remarkable progress in putting gender equality at the top of the agenda for the transitional process following the revolution in 2018, including 40% participation for women. Despite this and other positive constitutional and legal developments, such as the slow commencement of the CEDAW ratification process, women continue to face growing marginalization, discrimination, sexual violence, and abuse. During the last month, Sudan's democratic democratic transition was at risk after a coup attempt. The danger of the militarization of the state remains the most challenging peril for women's rights and women defenders. Sudanese women's groups organize protests to reaffirm their support for democratic change. Sudanese women's struggle for gender equality, peace, and democracy has achieved some success after the revolution, but the transitional government failed to fully implement the constitutional document's commitments related to the issues of women political participation, women peace and security, and protection from sexual violence. Despite the commitments of protection and inclusion of women in the peace agreement, women in Darfur and eastern region face increasing violence as tribal tensions continue, while attacks on civilians and sexual violence never stopped in all conflict areas of Sudan. We call on the Council to increase Increase support for the democratic transition in Sudan and put women's rights at the core of this support. Sudanese women human rights defenders need the support of the international community to build and strengthen their efforts to achieve gender equality, peace, and protection from violence.